Hi everyone, it's me Darlene. I have a new eBay listing for you guys today. I am going to be doing fat eights of cotton flannel. Those of you who have watched my tag along with me to Martins may remember seeing the cotton flannel aisle. I do have pictures of that in the eBay listing. You'll see the whole row of cotton flannels. And I also took some close-ups just so you can get an idea of some of the prints that are available. This is going to be a grab bag lot, meaning you guys will be ordering and you don't know what prints you will be getting. Once the orders come in and I end the listing, I will go shopping and pick out fabrics. I do want to mention that for this particular lot, I don't want to pick florals. I don't want to pick things that are directional, you know, that have a right way and a wrong way. I'm going to try to pick all over patterns. And I see that they have a lot of geometrical kind of patterns, and I'm going to pick from those. You might get some stripes, some zigzag, some polka dots, just all kinds of different things. I like to pick a variety of colors. I won't be picking anything that has a theme like no Dora the Explorer, no cats, no dogs, you know, nothing like that. It's just general prints. This lot is going to be for 20 fat eights. A fat eighth is half of the width of the fabric and nine inches tall. Martin's gives generous cuts, so I usually can give you like a 10 inch fat eighth, and they generally run anywhere from 21 to 23 inches wide around there somewhere. 20 fat eighths equals two and a half yards of fabric. There will be no duplicates in the lot, but each lot is the same. So if you were to order two lots, you would be getting two lots that were identical. So you'd have two fat eights of each print. Today is Saturday, June 3rd. I would like to go shopping on either Monday, June 5 or Tuesday, June 6, depending how fast this sells out. When I get the fabric home, I plan on having it picked up by my carrier two days after the day I shop. So it will give me one day for shopping, one day for cutting, and then they'll be ready for the next day to be picked up by my carrier. These do get sent priority mail, so you should have them just a couple of days after I send them out. I am starting with eight. Is that eight? That's eight. No, that's nine. What do I have to get rid of? This finger. <laughs> This time I'm starting with eight lots, or I could do this, four and four, that's easy. And I will not be adding more, even though I may be tempted to, I'm stopping there. That means I can go to the store, if I sell all eight lots, I can go to the store and just pick out 20 bolts of fabric and have them cut a yard of each. That will only be 20 yards of fabric that I have to cut into eights not 60. I think I can handle 20 a lot better. 60 was quite a job. I wouldn't mind if I had a week to do it, but I don't like jobs that take that long. I want to make this one quick. If you want to get in on this, eight lots may sell out quick. You're gonna have to just jump right on in and order. I don't know when I will be doing flannels again. I would like to do them again, but I'm going to vary what I do. So just, you know, don't think, oh well, she'll have those again next week. I don't think so. I'd like to get back to doing a batik lot maybe next, but again, I just don't know. That's pretty much all I need to tell you about this. The link to this eBay listing is in the description box below and also in the comments. My seller name on eBay is Darlene Michaud. Surprise, surprise. But it's just handy to use the link below and you will see a list of my current listings and auctions. I have a ton of beads right now up for auction, my paper beads. So do go check those out too. That is it for now. I'll be anxious to see how this goes. I really do like listing the fabric and I'm glad you guys seem to like it too. Thanks so much for watching. I'll be back with more soon. Bye! If you would like to see a mostly unedited version of this video, Click on the video in the right top corner. I did a daily life vlog and I recorded myself recording this video and I left all the boo-boos in, so go check it out.